Now to a health wake up call you can't ignore. Colorectal cancer is affecting more people younger than the age 50. Just recently, actor James Vanderbeek announced his colorectal cancer diagnosis. Joining me live this morning with the early warning signs and screenings that could save your life is Dr. Abdul Rahim with Houston Methodist Dr. Mary and Ron Neal Cancer Center. Doctor, good morning. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Good morning, thank you for having me. Talk to us about colorectal cancer uh, and that of colon cancer. Are they the same? Explain to us the, the umbrella term here and, and how they fit in. Colorectal cancer is a, uh, a disease or a cancer of the GI tract. Uh, the colon is uh, the last part of the GI tract and the rectum is the very last part of the colon. And colorectal cancer is uh, has been increasing incidence in the United States, and this is where when we start having the cells in our colon uh, having mutation and start going out of control and uh, proliferation and causing cancer and obstruction in the colon. Mm -hmm. Dr. Abdul Rahim, uh, Vanderbeek, as we know, is younger than the age of 50. Uh, we talked about seeing an increase uh, in number of cases among folks younger than 50. Talk to us about what is happening and what might be contributing to this increase. Yeah, that's true. Actually, we notice increase in colorectal cancer incidence in the younger population, uh, meaning younger than 50 years old. And actually, this uh, led to the change in the guideline for colorectal cancer screening and colonoscopy from age 50 to 45. And the reason for the increase is actually at this moment is not clear. Uh, these are the individual who have no family history or genetic mutation that predispose them to cancer. Uh, yet they got cancer at a younger age. And we believe that uh, it's mainly related uh, to the food and to the uh, environment exposure they are exposed at this young age. There is no uh, specific causation. However, we believe that the food, uh, the type of uh, lifestyle might uh, affect their increased incidence of colorectal cancer at this younger age. Uh, the microbiota or the bacteria of, of the gut might contribute and it's metabolite and basically it is what we expose to change the microbacteria and the inflammation in the colon, and that can increase the incidence of colorectal cancer at this younger age. So there's no specific causation, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but we believe that it is mainly related to diet and lifestyle obesity and the risk factor that we know that might expose this younger population more than others. Talk to us, doctor, about screening. Uh, have the guidelines changed because of the information we now have with the age when folks can get screened? Yeah, colorectal cancer can be prevented, actually, and uh, we can detect it early. The cure rate is very high when we detect it at earlier age. So we encourage uh, our patient or the individual in general to get their colorectal cancer screening either by a stool test uh, or by colonoscopy. Or sometimes we can do a CT chronography, which is non-invasive uh, methodology of screening for colorectal cancer. So the age used to be at age 50 mm -hmm. before. However, over the last few years, it changed to 45 because we notice increased incidence of uh, colorectal cancer in the younger population. And this five years decrease in, in the screening age actually it saved more life. So we encourage everybody to uh, contact their providers, talk to the healthcare mm -hmm. providers about screening and help to prevent their uh, incidence or increased risk of colorectal cancer. Because there's certain things that we can do actually to prevent colorectal cancer. There's few risk factors that's out of our control. So the thing that is within our control, we should be proactive and act on it to decrease the incidence of colorectal cancer in general, not only the youth. And this include, uh, you know, like a losing weight, a healthy lifestyle, less red meat, less uh, processed meat, more fibers, uh, more healthy diet, and uh, fruit and vegetables. So this uh, few measures that we can take as individual and it can decrease our risk of colorectal cancer. Yeah. Great information and a good conversation to have with your provider, Dr. Abdul Rahim. Thank you so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Of